Welcome to Electron Line. Typically, in ideal operational amplifiers, we ignore the current flow. We assume that there's no current flow between the inverting input and the non inverting input. We ignore the current flow from the voltage supply on the positive side and voltage supply on the negative side, and we quite often even ignore the current output of the operational amplifier. However, in the real amplifier, there is some current flowing to those various connections. So we do have I2 and I3 going in towards the operational amplifier, and we have current flow from the positive and negative voltage supplies, as well as the current flowing out of the output. It turns out that we have four sources of current going into the operational amplifier and one source coming out, which means that the output current, I sub O, is simply the sum of the four input currents, I2 plus I3 plus I3. I7 and plus I4. So in a real amplifier that is always the case and often we need to take that into account although for simplicity to work out problems we often ignore those currents and we just simply set them equal to zero. But at any rate this is what you know now about the currents. They are real, they are there and sometimes we need to take them into account. That's how it's done.